When King David saw General Uriah's wife Bathsheba, his heart grew evil. He ordered the death of General Uriah, and he took Bathsheba as his wife. David's deeds were extremely evil in God's eyes. God could not sit back and do nothing, so he sent Prophet Nathan to David. Your Highness, Prophet Nathan is here. Oh, Prophet Nathan, come, come, what brings you here? Your Highness, I have something to tell you. There were two men in a certain town, one rich and the other poor. The rich man had a very large number of sheep and cattle, but the poor man had nothing except one little lamb he had bought. He raised it and it grew up with him and his children. It shared his food, drank from his cup, and even slept in his arms. It was like a daughter to him. Now a traveler came to the rich man, but the rich man refrained from taking one of his own sheep or cattle to prepare a meal for the traveler who had come to him. Instead, he took the lamb that belonged to the poor man and prepared it for the one who had come to him. Vermin, as surely as the Lord lives, the man who did this deserves to die. He must pay for that lamb four times over because he did such a thing and had no pity. I shall punish him. Where is this man? You are the man! This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I have anointed you king over Israel. I delivered you from the hand of Saul. I gave your master's house to you and your master's wives into your arms. I gave you the house of Israel and Judah, and if all of this had been too little, I would have given you even more. But you struck down Uriah with the sword and took his wife to be your own. As you have despised me with the word of the Lord, I am going to bring calamity upon you. Oh, the Lord knows everything. Lord, I have sinned. I did not fear God and I sinned as I wanted. All actions have consequences. And if you sin against God, you must be held accountable. Since you have repented for your sins, the Lord will forgive you. But remember that you will be held accountable for your sins. Oh Lord, I have sinned. Forgive me, Lord. Oh God, please create in me a clean heart and renew my heart with an unshakable spirit. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take away your Holy Spirit from me. Please restore me in the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. David deeply repented his sins and repented not fearing God. God accepted David's repentance and thereafter, David remembered his weakness and tried to live by always relying on the Holy Spirit.